phrase. So here's an interesting <laughs> thought. Uh, you know, there's a lot of anti-work. All the millennials are up in arms about, uh, I want to be paid X, you know, I don't want to work my life away. And that's fair. And then all the people of a certain generation will say, ah, just work hard and you'll get where I get, kid. Even though that's super not fair because houses were $14 in the 50s. Were they $14? Yeah. One thing I realize is that if you have, if you're better off in life, you have a lot more time. If you don't have to, like some people don't have to cook. Mm-hmm. Some people don't have to take care of their yard. Correct. Some people don't have to take care of their kids. Right. The more time you have, the more money you have, the more time you have to pursue making more money or just relaxing. Right. So someone said somewhere, I got the same 24 hours you do in a day. But actually, that's not true. Well, we all have the same 24 hours in the day, but we some of us have more things that are filling it. Right. Or, like, if if you're really struggling in life, then you have to, like, wait in line for benefits. Yep. You have to, you know, apply for programs and, you know, there's EBT and, and all that kind of stuff and food stamps and, like, that using and getting those things take a lot more time and energy than just pulling out a debit card correct you do have to work for the the free stuff you kind of do have to work for they don't just give it to you taxes okay sure every okay same taxes for everybody blah 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 but i can't pay an accountant who gobs of money to find me all the loopholes for me to save the amount of money you save it will cost me a lot of money to only have to pay four percent in taxes instead of the 20 percent i have to pay Right. Well, I do that for you. You should pay me more money. Hillary, so let's let's talk let's let's get something straight about this whole for you stuff. Okay? It's called marriage, okay? How long have we been married? 22 you years. You talk like you're 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 my unpaid help. Like this is your family too. This is your taxes too. <sighs> Well, because, and this is the classic stay-at-home wife, stay-at-home mom argument. I do the taxes, I do the cooking, I do the cleaning, I do all of this, but I do not get a paycheck for it. And then sometimes I am reminded about who reminds you? Who's money? Who makes the money? No, I, no, 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 no. Who makes no, the no, money? No. This, this is no, no, no. So this is the problem. Okay. You think, this is what I used to do to my mother, is that, oh, if someone else is around, I can get away with more. Okay. No, I'm not letting you get away with this that. This isn't a new conversation. Uh, but it's... This uh, is a okay. old First conversation all, we're having on screen. So let's let's be clear about something. Okay. We both work, okay? Yeah. You work for me. I do, I work But for you. you work. And you don't pay me. I work for free. <laughs> you have access to my money. <laughs> you don't pay me. <laughs> don't start, okay? Don't start. Because people have real issues well, like I'm this, trying, you know? But I'm asking you a serious question. What's the question? How come you only know how to make food by driving to McDonald's? That was four minutes ago you asked that question, and, and it's not, not a real question. It. I, I make I, I make food. I've never seen you make food. I had chimichangas but yesterday. This is the only time I've ever seen you make food, aspire to what make food, is if people are coming over... If we're having people over, you suddenly are the chef of the house and you want to make a four course meal for them. And I fail at it. Um, but otherwise, I don't find cooking, cooking for myself satisfying. Cooking for a family, mate. Do you cook, cook for yourself? No, you'll slap yourself something together. I slap myself stuff together. You're the queen of ramen noodles. I'm just, but. I'm not sure what the. the castigation is the here. The castigation is as follows. If I had said I wanted to get McDonald's, I would have been told we have food at home. <laughs> I mean, and listen. You, we're not going out of the house to get McDonald's. But because I didn't make you lunch, you made yourself McDonald's. Here's how our most recent conversation went. I wanted to go take the boy to get McDonald's because I I, I forget what you said. I promised him ice cream or something like that. Because your dad was supposed to come get him and his plans got canceled and he was disappointed. So I was taking him to McDonald's. Right. And then I said, no, we got we got McDonald's at home or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you said, because blah, 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 my, 
your father was supposed to take him, and I didn't. And I said, well, just keep it cheap. No, you said, do not spend more than $10. How much do you, what does one need to spend on a child? Well, McDonald's is like 5 Okay. For a Happy Meal. So he is fit at five fifty. Yes. Well, I also wanted to eat when I got to McDonald's. And there's you want the me rub. To watch the boy eat McDonald's. And, and there's I'm the rub. Here's the thing. Okay. And but I would also like to say for the record that I paid four fifty for everything because I had coupons. Listen, I'm not cheap by any means. Okay. We get what we need to get. We do what we need to do. However. You cheap when I want to buy stuff. I never hear you. I'm looking on Amazon. You bought this on Amazon for yourself. Why return it? You will also, buy. Also, same day, five minutes earlier, Amazon man hunched over bringing seventy two packages for you. You will buy things we already have just because you can't find it. Not Remember true. the remote. You lost the remote twice, and. We're just going to keep buying remotes into First infinity. Of all, I didn't lose the remote. The child did. Second of all, we didn't have a remote. It's called and your I phone. I searched and searched and searched and searched. Hillary, if you want to spend all the money, spend all the money. I don't spend all the money. It's I fine. I am the cheap one in the relationship. Listen. I spend the least. I am the Scrooge McDuck. You are the nephews. It's fine. It's fine. I don't, I'm not bothered by it. We have an air fryer. Just pop it in that air fryer. There are my headphones. Did you put it there? Mm-mm. So, let's talk about your headphones. What about my headphones? David, what what happens to your headphone every day of your life? I wear them. Why is one always missing? Because I only wear one at a time. Where's the missing one? Is it in the seat? It's right there. Why is it on the foot of the bed? Why is it on the foot of the bed? Why is it on the foot of the bed? Why is it on the foot of the bed? Because you leave it in the bed. Like an earring. Correct. Problem solved. This is not the best vlog you've ever done. This is not a vlog. This is life. I think movie theaters are for the young. Like malls are for the young. I'm not going to the mall. You, Why would I go to the mall? I know, I know. Because mall. sometimes I want to feel like a loser again. You know, like kids are losers. And kids, like, have nothing to do. Like, have you ever seen a kid riding a bike? And like, hey, I'm riding a bike. And you drive by up on the car and like, hey, kid, you're riding a bike. You're not cool. Get a car. Riding bikes is fun. It's fun, but it's not cool. And as a kid, you're not, you don't understand how uncool you are. Kids are not trying to be cool to adults who they don't think are cool. Kids, are, well, that's because they assume they don't have to try. They automatically assume they're cooler than adults, and they'll, so they don't try. But no kid is cool. How could a 12-year-old get a car? How could a 12-year-old ever be cool? Have you ever seen a cool 12-year-old? No. They're not cool. So, yes. Going around the mall, you think it's cool. It's not cool. Especially if you have no money. And you usually don't have money. Correct. Going to the movie theater is not cool. It's a drag. And either you're the person hollering in the movie or you're disturbed by the person who's hollering. It's a bad experience. Meanwhile, as an adult, what do you do? You get off the bike, you get a car. You stop going to the movie theater, you have a nice home theater set up. But I have a kid who wants to go to the movie theater. He doesn't want to go to the movie theater. He wants to watch the movie now. Kids don't have patience. No, he specifically said he wanted to see it in the movie theater, in the dark, on the big screen. Why? That's what he said. I didn't press him for why. I guess because the last time we did it, he enjoyed it. Well, don't make it enjoyable and he won't want to go back. Why would I not make it enjoyable? Because why are we going to the movie theater when we could just wait a few weeks and watch it at home? When I was young, I loved going to the movies. So why would I make it not enjoyable if he loves going to the movies? Why do I not want my child to be happy? Remember the song, The Name Game? No. The Name Game... Matthew, 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 Bo, Matthew, Banana, Fana, Fo, Matthew, Fee. Why do you? Why is there no recognition in your eyes? No, I know that part. I don't know it as the name game. I didn't. What do you know it as? Just the song. Right. You know, it's like an actual, you know, top single I did in not the '60s or whatever. Know that we sing it regularly, 
I didn't know that. Who sings it regularly? Me and the boy. Oh, that's terrible. I don't ever want to hear that song. But do you realize that was like on the radio? Like that's just a song that was out. Someone had an A track of the name game. But that's Give me a name that starts with B. Um, Bobby. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Like someone was doing that. But it's not fun if your name's not in it. It's not fun. People's names who you don't even know. What are you talking about? Well, if it's on the, the... You didn't know that was a song? I remember it from school. Like that someone sang? No, I did not know. Yeah, and it came preloaded with song, uh, with names. Of course, I, I mean, yeah. I know, I sang. It's weird. What, what, do you, what do you mean it's weird? Where did you think the tune came from? It, it had to start with something. I thought it was like a children's song to help them learn about rhyming. But then it would have been, you have to have the example song with names in it. Well, uh, but, you clearly haven't thought this through. No, I have not spent a lot of time thinking about this particular subject. And there's a lot of weird songs in the 60s. Have you ever heard the one? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new... And like, what is a key? Like, someone had to explain to me what a key has to do with roller skates. Do you know? I think it's like winds it up. The, Why would roller skates need to be winded? It locks them. You unlock the brakes. Or oh, something with the wheels. what brakes? Something with the wheels. I'm not sure. I don't. I never had roller skates like that. I never had roller skates. Well, first of all, I guarantee you didn't have roller skates like that because you're not 60. Second of all, I think it has something to do with um with the, the straps. I think because like I think it has something to do with the straps. Like you would lock the straps. Oh, maybe. Because it's not like Velcro back in the 50s or whatever. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they used to just top, put skates on your shoes, right? Uh, No, that's too far back, I think. All right. You're talking about the little the little platforms that you just yeah, you tie just onto tie your boot. Yeah, you your shoe. No, no. That's a great idea. It was. So. Oh, my goodness. Can you, do you realize you're still... Ma- okay, here's what I saw on TikTok. What? You said this is what I saw on TikTok? <laughs> this, is what I saw, this is what I saw. This is what I saw on TikTok. Um, they make baby straws. Mm-hmm. The pacifier, basically pacifier with a long tube on it going into the bottle. And the baby's just leaning back and chilling, sucking a pacifier, basically. And the, and the bottle's like right there sitting on the floor so this baby is so lazy it can't even know it's See? drinking from the bottle See, it has that's... to think it's drinking a pacifier why can't the baby drink the bottle now that's that's interesting that you said that because you seem to have forgotten babies don't hold the bottle anyway you're talking about infant oh so these parents are so lazy yes. they can't hold the bottle so you always baby. held the bottle i did hold the bottle you remember and i always was really irritated with how you never held the bottle no you thought i was very innovative I, you never no, made me feel bad about it i did not apparently me, you resented me I really for it i did not like it i, I really what did i do you. you would pile like some blankets or towels up to prop up the bottle and the the blankets would hold the bottle while the baby drank the bottle so that you didn't have to hold the bottle. And what's the problem with this? I just felt like feeding time was like a bonding time. With I'm not bonding with the bottle, sir. And it was a bonding time with the baby. I'm you, right there. I didn't. I was right there with the baby. On your phone or doing something else wow. while he's drinking and you should have been holding him and feeding him. Did you always gaze into the child's eyes while feeding him? A lot of times, yeah. I would do that. Listen. I was right there with them. I just didn't want to hold it up. Well, I just... You would be watching... Don't start I with this revisionist history, sir. I wished you had held the bottle. I wanted you to hold the bottle. And I did not like that you didn't hold the bottle. Listen. But I guess I'm, I'm alone in this because now they have pacifiers that do it for you. So I'm sure her dad made that up. The problem with it is that you should see the TikTok... Because the baby is struggling. It's like drinking like a triple thick shake through like a, a coffee stirrer, which I used to do. But why is it so thick? It's not thick. It's the amount of effort it takes. The straw is like long and it does a curl and then back up. And that baby is like turning colors on the TikTok, like, like trying to get it through that tube. And that's, it's definitely a lot more effort. Than, than tipping something into the baby's mouth. Mm-hmm. So I did feel a little bad for the baby, but I felt good for the parents. 
Poor baby. Poor baby. Yeah, because at the bottle, even when the way you did it, I mean, gravity does a lot of the work. Yeah. And, and the bottle was like sitting down here, and then he has to suck up an entire straw. Um, it's Yeah, it's probably not good. It sounds like that baby was burning as many calories as he was taking in. Here's the thing with babies. Everything you make them do that's unpleasant for them is like building some muscle. Like tummy time. Oh, like yeah. it's, it looks like cruel and unusual punishment, but it's really like, it's like turtle shelling, reverse turtling. A baby is putting it on his belly. But um, you could just say, oh, it's building some muscle. I hated tummy time. It was painful to watch because our kid didn't try. The grays. The grays. Why'd you cut me off? Because the time's about to end. Oh. You see it flashing? The grays. The grays. The grays. <laughs>